When we pulled Digby's pan, I found some metal particles inside and I was not happy with that. I'm not happy to use this transmission. So we're going to use a transmission that came out of the black 300 SD. But the problem is the speedometer pickup on the 300 SD is a magnetic electronic pickup and the speedometer pickup on Digby's, the 123, is mechanical with a gear. So what we can do is we can use this transmission over here, but we have to take that rear housing off, clean everything up, and put it back over here on the 300 SD transmission. We're being very careful here. We're not so concerned about getting dirt into the old Digby's transmission, but over here, we're gonna be real careful when we take off this rear case that we don't get any dirt down inside the transmission. And while I'm at it, Joel and Ryan are gonna help me change the seals. The rear output shaft seal and the front torque converter seal in the transmission we're gonna use. I've already installed the gear and this rear case on the transmission that we're going to use in Digby. You know, the W126 pickup is quite a bit different. You see there's no gear there. There's just these four tabs because it's electronic. It's not manual. It's not a speedometer cable going up to the speedometer. By the way, there's one other thing you're going to have to change if you're doing this swap like I'm showing you here. And there is a little teeny oil tube to oil the gear in the W123 transmission. So you're gonna to have to take that out of the W123 transmission and put it in this W126 transmission. Make sure that I have oil squirting up on those nylon speedometer gears that are spinning down in here in this rear case. Okay, so the other things I'm going to do is I'm going to change both the rear output shaft seal and I'm gonna also change the front seal for the torque converter since the transmission is out. We've cleaned everything. I'm going to install a new filter. Of course, a new gasket. Uh, we're currently cleaning the pan and straightening out the stops on the pan. You know, a lot of these old pans have been over torqued, so when you're replacing the gasket, you may have to straighten out the bolt holes in some of these pans. So that's going to go together. Then we're going to put this on the back of Digby's engine. There's one other thing here. I'm, I'm looking at this, you know, the shift bushing is gone. <laughs> See that shift bushing? It's going to have to be replaced. Also, on the transmission modulator, I at least want to test the modulator while I have the transmission right here on the floor. I'm going to plug in my vacuum hand pump tester here right into that modulator and we're going to pump up and make sure that it holds pressure. So I don't have to worry about changing the modulator there, but we will get the new shift bushing installed. We'll get it laid over, get the torque converter on and get it bolted up to the back of the engine before installation back into Digby, hopefully in the next few days.